Hello everybody, I am the Bearded OG and I'm getting ready uh, to build uh, my first big factory here in Satisfactory 1.0 for my Let's Play series. And I have some uh, blueprints that I need to get organized for that and I thought I'd do just a quick ad hoc tutorial here showing how to um, organize blueprints, create files, folders, directories, that sort of thing. Uh, so this isn't a full blown everything there is to know about um, blueprints tutorial we're mostly just going to focus on how to organize them because uh, some people may not know how to do that and uh, yeah so in case you are uh, brand new uh, to blueprints in this game I'll just show a couple real quick basic things uh, so you have to unlock the blueprint designer mark one in tier four so you have to get to tier four first and then you can unlock this and then you can take the blueprint designer and you can set it down pretty much anywhere in the world so it's a completely portable thing you just move it around with you um, so if I want to use this I just set it down over in this slot right here and then if I want to load a blueprint I just go up to the console I click load blueprint and then I select whichever blueprint that I want to load so let's say for example we want to take a look at this overclocked copper smelter shed blueprint which I am actually getting ready to, to set up uh, so basically um, anything that you can build in a 4x4 grid for the mark 1 there is also a 5x5 mark 2 in 1.0 as well um, you can save in the blueprint and then you can load it at any point in time provided you have all the materials for it and modify it and, you know, copy it, save it as a, a different blueprint with some, you know, different variations in it and whatnot. Um, you do have um, a height limit too, so you, can, you can't build beyond the top of that bar up there in your blueprints. So you just, you know, do some kind of a modification in it and then when you're done, you can go back to here and you can click save blueprint if you want to. And if you try and save a blueprint that already exists, it'll ask you if you want to overwrite it. Um, and then you either confirm or cancel if you don't. But the thing is, is right now I don't have any of my blueprints organized. Uh, if I go to load blueprint, they're all just in one area, you know, clumped together in the undefined folder. So that's what we're going to actually do is we're going to um, organize these. OK, so to clear the blueprint designer, just click clear blueprint designer. All of the materials come back into your inventory, which is nice. In uh, previous versions of the game, they put everything in a little crate here and you had to pick it up. And now it just puts it into your inventory, which is a good thing. Uh, OK, so uh, first of all, if uh, I press Q and go into my blueprints tab from the build menu, this is where I can do the organization because notice that there's an edit button down here. Uh, I can still see all of those from the designer itself, but there's no edit button. So I can't create new folders and do the organization through the designer. I can only load and save blueprint, uh, blueprints through the designer itself. So you have to do this from the Q menu. So you basically you press Q, go to blueprints, and this is where you can organize things. All of these blueprints that you see in here, and the reason too, by the way, that they're all kind of clumped together is because um, I created some of them on a different save within this same 1.0 session. And when you do that, uh, the blueprint itself is created, but it doesn't also save your whatever folder structure that you've set up from the previous save. So it'll all just dump them in the undefined. Also, some of these blueprints I actually copied over from my update 8 save uh, because I want to reuse those. Now, to do that real quick, it's pretty simple. All right, so this is the path uh, to your saved blueprints on your computer. And these two folders in here represent my two sessions. So this is my update 8 session, and this is my current 1.0 session. So if I go open up uh, the bearded rocky desert, because I started in the rocky desert in update 8, I have all the blueprints that I created uh, in that session, that entire playthrough. And I got quite a few of them here. So let's just say, for example, uh, I mean, I could copy all of these over if I wanted to. Uh, but let's say, for example, that I just want these AW assembler, this AW assembler blueprint, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the uh, blueprint file and its config file. I'm going to copy those with a control C and then go into this session and paste them. And there they are in this folder. OK, so that's all you have to do to move blueprints from one session on your computer to a different session. Now, once you move those blueprints over, they won't show up until you log out of the game and then back in. So right now, uh, I don't see that until I log out. After logging back out and back in, now if I open up my blueprints tab, I can see the new blueprint that I moved over here. This particular one just has a yellow background because that's how the, I created it. Okay, so that's how you move blueprints over. 
All right, now let's um, let's take a look at how to get rid of a blueprint. I actually don't want this blueprint in this save. I was just doing that for demonstration. So if I want to get rid of it, what I do is I click on the edit button. I go into this blueprint, into the little gear uh, button there, and I click remove blueprint. It says, are you sure you want to? And you click uh, confirm and then apply changes. And that's how you remove blueprints. Very easy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to organize these into their own folders or categories. So the way you do that is you click the edit button and you want to uh, click this add category and you can actually add multiple categories. Uh, so we'll add a few of those. And then what you want to do is go to your first category, click the gear button and you want to name it. So let's name uh, this first category, uh, let's say roads and rails. And we'll select uh, the icon. We'll select this little truck icon here. And then we'll click apply and that renames that particular one there. Okay. So let's click apply changes to lock that in. And now what we want to do, uh, and this is important, uh, you have to go to that new category and you have to create a subcategory first before you can actually put anything into it. Because if I go here and I try and move this into here, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work, right? Uh, you have to have a subcategory to put it in. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to roads and rails. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to add a subcategory. OK, and then you want to give that subcategory a name. We're going to call this one roads. Uh, and you just need to spell it correctly. OK, and then apply changes. And then I'm also going to create a second category, uh, add subcategory. And we're going to call this one rails. So um, I have several train uh, based blueprints. Uh, that I, I'm going to probably move over from my um, update eight save and I'll put those in that subcategory. Right now I'm going to go back to undefined and I'm going to click edit and then I'm going to grab my uh, road blueprint. So we'll do this road with support and we're going to drag it over to roads and rails and we're going to pop it up into roads and then click apply and then that moves that blueprint. If I want to move several at the same time, I go back to undefined, I click edit, and then I hold either shift or control. Either one will work down and I click all of the ones that I want to move together. Uh, you'll notice that they're all now kind of have a highlight in gray. And then if I click and drag them together over here, I'll move all eight of them over into there and click apply changes. Okay. And that's how that works. All right. Now let's go into the next category and let's call this one uh, foundations. Okay, and then uh, there isn't really a good icon for foundation, so uh, we'll just use, uh, say, like the factory icon there. Click apply. And again, we have to create a subcategory in here, at least one, before we can put anything into here. So we're going to click add subcategory, and I'm just going to uh, also call this foundations too. Click apply. And then if we go back to here and click edit, I've got uh, a couple of foundation blueprints here. Um, we're going to shift click both of those to select them together, drag them over to foundations. Now, here's an important thing here, and this kind of threw me off here in 1.0. If I try and release them anywhere down in here and release the mouse button, nothing happens, right? They don't move. And you're like, well, what the hell just happened? Uh, what you actually have to do is you have to move them um, up to the top until that subcategory highlights orange. And then if I release the mouse button, then it'll go up there. So there's really only, uh, you know, you have to basically move it to the top. So that's in the case where you have just one subcategory in the folder. So that's, you know, one of those things that, like I said, it took me a couple of tries to figure out why I wasn't able to move my blueprints. It's because you have to move them up the top. And I don't know, I think that might be a bug because I don't remember that being an issue in update eight. So maybe that's something they'll fix later. Um, next category we're going to create is, um, we want to go here, edit. And yeah, we want to click the gear icon. Uh, let's call this one, we'll call this one smelters. And we'll ch uh, choose the factory icon for that. Click apply. Go back to here. And then I've got several smelters that I want to put in here. Um, so we're going to shift click all of these smelter shed blueprints. And actually, no, hold on. I forgot to do something. I got I got to create that subcategory in here first. Or it wasn't going to work, right? Uh, and let's actually call this category smelter sheds um, because I also have 
factory, uh, you know, some factory blueprints, you know, that I would build right in the factory where the smelter sheds, uh, which is that thing we looked at earlier is what I want to put out by the, uh, by the miners. Okay. We'll play a changes there. Uh, and now what we'll do is we'll grab all of these smelter shed blueprints, but not this one. Cause that's, that's one for a factory. And we'll drag that over here. Make sure we go up to the top, drop it in place and click apply. Now let's create a, uh, a subcategory and we'll call this one factory shits. Apply changes. And we'll grab this one here and put that into factory sheds. And I actually missed one too. I also want to take this concrete constructor, even though these aren't smelters, uh, I'll also use those in the same way and I'll in that I'll put them over a, um, a miner for concrete. All right, now let's say you have all of these in here and you want to uh, you want to change their order. In that case, you just click edit and then you can just rearrange them by dragging and dropping and put them in whatever order, you know, you want them to be in. One more really cool thing I'll show you about this is when you have multiple um subcategories in a, a particular type of blueprint, what you can do then is you can press Q, go into your blueprints and let's let's just choose this one here. Okay, so now this uh, brings this up. I'm actually missing some um, power shards, but uh, if I have this blueprint activated and then I press and hold E down, then it brings me up a radial wheel what ha that has all of the sheds in that subcategory. So that's another good reason to put stuff in subcategories if you want to organize them based upon you know this radial wheel. So you would put you know similar blueprints together that you're going to be building a lot of. Uh, but you'll also notice if I go to blueprints and I select this one, which is in a different subcategory category under factory sheds. See, that's the only one that shows up until I put more in there. All right. So that's pretty much it for how you can organize uh, your blueprints. And uh, that's it. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all in the Let's Play. Bye-bye.